Okay, this is Everett. Um, start by just resetting the pose. Hmm. It's interesting. I wonder why the foot doesn't um, straighten out. That's a bit concerning. Um, and the fact that these are pointed so much to the side isn't great. Huh. Because that should be more the zeroed out pose. Wonder. Mm, boy, that sure isn't working at all. Let me try resetting the pose and doing it. Something seems indeed very wrong with the foot there. Let's see if this one. That one's kind of acting more normally, except for this should be there. That should be the more the default position for the knee. That's weird. Let me just reopen the file to make sure nothing happened when I reset the pose. Sort of looks like it's working now. Yeah, it seems to be acting normally here. Huh. Oh, well no, it's not. It's like it's not really bound to those joints, kind of. Yeah, I can kind of see it sort of tearing off the foot control here. Kind of curious if this is... You can just right mouse click to get to the paint weights tool now. No, I can kind of I can see the problem right here is that it's it's solid white on the it's on the knee, and there's nothing on the ankle or the toes. So maybe it's more of a binding problem than it is a um, uh, rig problem. But why doesn't it straighten out when you reset the pose? That's concerning to me. I think what I might do here is, because this is acting weird, oh, I get it, it's, it's being point. If it's attached to the knee, and the knee is pointed out to the side, and so it's pointed out to the side, since it's only moving with the knee and not with the ankle and the ball, that's what's happening. Okay, <coughs> so I think we should um, so let's try detaching skin, skin detach or unbind. They call it now. Okay, and then. Um, I just don't know why this ended up being zero with these pointed all the way out to the side like that. Um, it makes me think something is wrong with the uh, bind. I might go as far back as um, detaching all of it and binding it again because Where are all my buttons here? Strange. Oh, there they are. I just scrolled down. Um, so let's uh, select all these surfaces and unbind.
and then um, let's take a step back here. Um, to the fit skeleton stage and I just want to pay close attention to the knee to see if there's anything um, odd about it let's turn these back on I might kind of whoops move it down and center it a little bit maybe that'll help I don't know kind of put a little bit more of a bend in it maybe it'll work properly now. Well, by the way, these aren't in the right place either while we're at it. Because this should be oops, right at the bottom here. That. And And actually, I'd probably move this down a bit as well. Just using pivot move mode. Okay. So, anything else? While we're here. Alright. Let's rebuild. Let's see if it points those knees out to the side again. Hopefully not. Um, hmm. I mean, a little bit but not as much as it was before. Um, so, uh, let's select all those. Well, there was some other thing I wanted to check too, which is when some of these things turn black when I look at it in smooth mode, which is weird. So I might do, uh, uh, under the modeling menu set, um, mesh display reverse. And on this as well. And then let's just make sure we've deleted history off of all these surfaces. Okay. And select the deform joints. And let's try, um, I've been having good luck with geodesic voxel lately. So let's try that. Take a couple minutes. That was pretty quick. All right. Let's see where we are now. Oh, let's turn everything back on again. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why am I having so much trouble selecting these curves? Yeah, that's going to work better. I think you need to do that. Um solve those problems. Yeah, it's a pretty good bind too, so right out of the gate. This is kind of pulling up out of his, and I noticed that on yours as well. Um, so I think what I would do is, I mean, what it would be good to do is actually in the model of having that go sort of deeper in there, but um, I would take these and go to the paint weights tool. And let's go to the root and replace with the value of one flood. And so now, let's unisolate that. You know, it won't just pop out like it was before. Uh, 
Um, yeah, now it's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the head again. That's always for whatever reason. Um, but hopefully you know how to do that now. I mean, what I would do is just go to head. Go to my head. And replace value of one flood. And then let's just isolate that. And... Take a couple of these neck ones and flood those to the neck. Uh, and then I just unlock these, uh, lock everything. Isn't there like a lock all in here somewhere? Unlock inverse selection. No. Lock inverse selection. Oh, that works really well. That's what I should be doing. That's so much easier. Uh, just right mouse clicking in there. Um, and then I just want to unlock the uh, head and I can do those guys on the neck. And for the neck, I'll just do smooth. Let's go back to object selection and neck smooth. Flood, flood. Okay. Let's take a look at that. The hair looks kind of weird. You might want to work on the hair modeling a bit just because you have that seam there. But yeah, the vine's working pretty well now. Um, and then you might have to redo the eyeballs. Oh, you didn't line up the eyeballs correctly. God bless it. <laughs> so that these should be lined up with the uh, not the eye ends, but these sh those are the ones you can strain into the eye to jump to the center of the eye. That whole thing, not the eye end ones, but the I R and I L. So and that means going back to fit skeleton again and. I'm not going to redo everything again. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to go back to Fit Skeleton and fix the eyeballs. Save this.